Alola everyone, my name is Henry aka Ninfreak and welcome to this video. And today I want to talk about the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime. You know, it has been about one month since the Pokemon XY anime aired its last episode and we've got to start all over again with Sun and Moon. And since the Pokemon fanbase knew about Sun and Moon anime, yeah, we had quite some shitstorm against it. And even now, after five episodes, the overall reception wasn't that great, to say the least. So yeah, I was thinking to myself, why is the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime getting all this hate? So, before we can answer this question, we have to go back to the X and Y anime. For the past three years, I've been enjoying the series week by week. I've always been waiting for a new episode. First of all, I can say that the overall animation quality for X and Y was simply amazing. And then we had all the amazing side characters. We had Eureka, who had this carefree and cheerful nature that a child should have and she was never annoying with that. And also she was kind of a reminder about Takeshi when it came down to woman if you know what I mean. And then we had Citron. He became a very very close friend to Satoshi and I would say that he is the best replacement that we could ever get for Takeshi. And as a main female part, we have Serena. And if you ask me, I would say that she is the best girl to ever accompany Satoshi. Her crush on him led to a handful of very, very cute moments. And in the end, we had the kiss that we've all been waiting for. Other from that, the Pokemon team that Satoshi built up throughout the series was simply awesome. And every single battle was just eye candy and Pikachu wasn't that weak like in best wishes. He was actually a very strong Pokemon in the series. So I was talking to some friends of mine, some fans of the XY anime and the overall reception for it was very, very good. <laughs> I mean, the last two episodes of the anime left me with tears in my eyes. And every single battle gave me goosebumps. And whenever Serena was on stage, I could really feel her excitement. The Sun and Moon anime, however, had to compete against all this. And when we heard the first and had the first glimpse onto the new animation style, it was denounced by most of the fans from the very start, even before the first episode was aired. It was and still is hard to let go of X and Y and move on to this new beginning. So of course the new series had some trouble to gain new fans and keep the old ones. And with all the Satoshi X Serena shipping and Eureka and Citron being such awesome side characters, it really is hard to make space in your heart for new characters. After watching the first five episodes, I would describe Mao as the cute girl that knows how to cook well and is supposed to fill Serena's spot. And if you know the Pokemon fanbase, then you know that one doesn't simply replace Serena. <laughs> On the other hand, she is also a bit similar to Eureka with her very tomboyish nature. Lilia brings Kazumi's fear for bugs onto a whole new level as she is actually afraid of any kind of Pokemon and just cannot touch them. Also, she is a smart ass. Kaki is the adult one in the bunch who brings in a bit of calculated acting into the group which kind of reminds me about Takeshi. And on the other hand, he has this lone wolf nature that you may know from Shigeru. 
Suiden is the one who is always a bit more calm and shy, and she has a love for water Pokemon. And Mamani is this annoying brat who is also an inventor just like Citron, but let's be honest here, he could never ever take his spot in our hearts. So all in all, the cast for Pokemon Sun and Moon anime is a bit of a reminder to all the protagonists of the series, but it knows how to make you realize that they are not the characters that you know and love, but rather a fresh breeze, if you ask me. I actually got to like this new cast with the exception of Mamane pretty fast. They could never replace the old ones, but they have their own charm, which is really neat. Let's talk about the main setting for the anime. In Sun and Moon, Satoshi finally goes to school, but this is more different than you might expect. You see, instead of just sitting there all day, writing exams and doing all this boring school stuff, they actually just meet in school, get a task and then fulfill this task. This includes stuff like catching Pokemon, battling, training or fishing. It's a nice change for the series, but I always have the feeling like I'm missing this certain Pokemon anime feeling. But I could say that all this vacation and island atmosphere is just right. So let's come to the animation style. This is probably the thing that made for the most hate against the Sun and Moon anime. You know, the whole series is animated in a very unfitting way. The style itself isn't too bad, but it's something that you would rather use for a slice of life anime, not for Pokemon. The animation style for X and Y was simply perfect for the scenario and I see no reason why it should be changed. But it was changed for some stupid reason. It's nice that the style allows for a lot of facial expressions and I have to admit, they really made me laugh. But all in all, just just doesn't fit to Pokemon. It really is good that the Japanese voice acting is just right on the other hand. Now you might wonder, what do I personally think about this new direction? And I have to say, I was actually quite entertained by the Sun and Moon anime. At first, of course, I was just shocked and absolutely angry for what they have done to my beloved Pokemon series. But then I thought to myself, hey, it's Pokemon, even if I disliked the anime, which was the case for best wishes, I would still watch it. So. I try to view the series as a more independent anime and tried to not compare it with X and Y for all the time. If I look at it this way, I could actually enjoy it. But as soon as I start to think about X, Y, I just want to go back to Carlos again. I can't stand that Satoshi is so childish again, even though he grew up so much and was so strategic and mature in XY. I can't stand the animation style for an anime like this. I can't stand the fact that there is so little connection to the previous adventures of Satoshi. But I do like the characters and I do like that Pikachu is actually a capable fighter in the series, not just like in Best Wishes, where he was simply defeated by a level 5 Snivy. And believe it or not, I'm actually looking forward for the next episode. The Sun and Moon anime is nowhere perfect, not even for the Pokemon anime standards that we would expect. But in the end, I would say that it is worth giving it a try. Oh hey, a new episode of Sun and Moon! Let's watch it!
This is not X and Y. 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 Hmm.